A dangerous and disturbing trend threatening drivers on Highway 52. We've learned that in the past few days, at least two vehicles, perhaps even more, have been targeted by someone throwing rocks at them. Fox 6's Michael Hennessy joins us now from Winston-Salem. Michael, the latest incident I hear happened just a short time ago, right? That's right, Neil, just a few hours ago. Now, anybody at home, if you've ever had your car hit by a snowball, you know that it's startling. It sounds like a gunshot. Now imagine having your car hit by a rock while you're going about 60 miles an hour on a busy highway. That's exactly what at least two people have said happened to them just a short distance down Highway 52 here near the Clemensville Road exit. Here's a picture of what the damage looked like from today. The rock pictured here is about six inches long. That's according to an Enterprise Rent-A-Car in Kernersville, where administrators told me one of their drivers was going up 52 earlier today when the rock came flying through his windshield. Luckily, there was nobody in the passenger seat because they could have been seriously injured. And oddly enough, another vehicle from that same enterprise was targeted last Friday in the same spot. That time they say it was a customer who was driving. That customer was also lucky enough not to suffer any injuries. Now we have not heard back from Winston-Salem police regarding whether or not they are investigating any of these incidents, but I did pull a couple reports off of their website. And on the 16th of January, right around this time, the six o'clock hour during a busy rush hour, they have two incidents listed, both in that same area near the Clemensville Road exit. And both of the incidents say that their weapons or tools were listed as rocks or bricks, and the incidents are listed as malicious injury to property. Back to you guys. Yeah, that's really scary. And we saw in those pictures just how much damage it can do. Michael, thank you. All right, Michael, thanks. Another crime.